So after five days of clear sky conditions, we have this rain. We saw it coming in last night. It was obvious, uh, the high clouds, the mid clouds, and then the rain began at dawn or so this morning. Um, it's a completely different mood. And m more interesting is that the surface is um, very different. It's um, the, this, what we've been calling coral is gone. This extremely rough, uh, white ice on, on top of everything. The the frozen lids on the cryokinite holes is gone. Uh, and, it, you know, the surface looks much more blue. There's a lot more water, you know, on the surface. And of course, the, the spectrum of light is different now. Um, it makes me think about um, different feedbacks that happen. It's a completely different regime, you know, under under cloudy skies versus clear, and 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 um, in terms of the surface uh, reflectance um, with the coral and the lids on the cryo holes gone. Um, actually, the surface is darker. There's less sunlight coming down, but there's also more infrared. So it's a a different regime to consider uh, when trying to understand, better understand the, um, the uh, radiation surface interactions um, and, and melt. Of course, the, the rain will add some, some heat to the surface from precipitation. And um, so there's a lot to consider. It's very interesting to be here um, in the elements, uh, watching the, the melting occur and and understanding the different um, nuances of it.